Hello, this is Supramolecular Chemistry, 14CH3007. In this section, we are going to see about MOF, Metal Organic Frameworks. Some scientists call it as Metal Organic Porous Materials. So what are Metal Organic Frameworks? So they are a new class of crystal hybrid nanoporous materials. So like that of the zeolites and clathrates. These are a newly maybe invented uh, materials. The structure is formed from ions or small clusters of metals and polydentate organic ligands bound by strong covalent bonds into a three dimensional lattice framework. So there are several examples I have given here, metal organic frameworks, covalent organic frameworks, porous polymer networks, these are all a class of these type of solid state materials. So MOFs are crystalline sponge like materials composed of two components. So mainly they are metal ions and organic molecules. And these are known as the linkers. The organic molecules are known as the linkers. So the choice of the metal and the linker, they have significant effects on the structure and property of the particular MOFs. So they are also called as coordination polymers. And when they are without the metals, then they are called as covalent coordination polymers. And this area of research is very, very active in the present era. So what are all the main important applications of this metal organic frameworks when they are porous in nature? They have n number of applications like catalysis, gas storage like methane, carbon dioxide etc, hydrogen etc. So you need to know what you mean by porous. Porous means the materials which has minute interstices through which a liquid or an air may pass in. You can see here, it depends upon the size. When the size of the pores are less than 2 nanometer, like that of a surface of a chicken eggshell, they are called as micropores. If the size ranges between 2 to 50 nanometer, like a carbon membrane, they are called as mesoporous. And if they are above 50 nanometer, then they are called as like uh, they are called as macro macropores. In the case of monolithic column. So these porous materials are they? occurring in nature? Of course, they occur in nature. For example, lungs, you take bones, you take soil, you take lemons, you take sea sponge, snow, eggshells, butterfly wings, etc. Everything have pores, pores or they are porous in nature. Not only in nature, there are several artificially made porous materials like that of paper, clothing, chalk, brick, sponge, concretes, ceramics, bread, etc. So what are microporous materials? A microporous material, as we saw before, they contain the pores with the diameters less than 2 nanometer. Examples are activated carbon, zeolites, MOFs, COFs, microporous polymers. So the design and synthesis this of these MOFs, they are related to the discrete metal architectures. They can be called as supramolecular architectures. Some aspects resemble methods which are employed in zeolite and clathrate formation. But zeolite are size restricted due to their constituent parts. Artificial system have fewer limitations. So the ligands of varying shapes and size can be synthesized. 
and used to connect between metal nodes to form large voids within the crystal lattices. In fact, the use of the basic building blocks to build up functional materials, they are readily linked to the bottom up approach which is utilized in the nanochemistry. By utilizing this type of bottom approach methodology of synthesis, there are many voids which are left in the walls of the channels through which the guests may pass rather than forming structures with isolated packet of guests. So what happens is these network containing large pores they are built by using one of the two main approaches or a combination of these two approaches the use of larger ligands or the use of larger nodes either it will be larger ligands or the nodes will be larger. How do you design a metal organic framework? So porous three dimensional coordination polymers often they are linked with a metal cluster nodes that means they have a metal and an organic ligand so the ligands with various size and shape connected to the metal nodes. You can see here the metal ion and the organic ligands in solution they form a coordination polymer which in solid state tends to form supramolecular architectures wherein these organic ligands act as linkers and the metals as nodes with pores in their structures. So an example of a framework is MOF5. The framework consists of carboxylate octahedra. You can see here benzene dicarboxylate with the zinc carboxylates, octahedral zinc carboxylate clusters as nodal points and benzene 1,4 dicarboxylic acids as the linkers. So in contrast, these traditional clathrates, generally like urea, trimesic acid clathrates, they collapse when you remove the guest. But in this case, it is not. So these are some of the representative MOF structures. MOF 74 have high carbon dioxide adsorption. So it is made up of a dicarboxylate. dicarboxylate. Similarly, with the help of a tricarboxylate, h cost one and then MIL have been used for high catalytic activity for Friedel Crafts benzoylation. Some more you can see with the help of benzene dicarboxylic acid MOF5 is constructed and it has an unique pore expansion and contraction upon guest molecules. That is when the guests are there it expands and the guests are removed it contracts which helps in the gas storage. Then UIO66 which is a zirconium based MOF it is shown here. So how do these MOF synthesis MOFs are synthesized? There are different methodologies a few are listed here like solvothermal or hydrothermal. So depending upon the solvents which you use or water and you heat it up and then microwave assisted then sonochemical with the help of sound then electrochemical method. And just by grinding mechanochemical and even ionothermal, dry gel conversion and microfluidic methods. But the most followed method is solvothermal or hydrothermal synthesis. So they have broad industrial applications because of two key attributes. Because of extremely large surface area and flexibility with their structures they can be varied because you know the linkers can be varied the metal nodes can be varied so you can able to get different type of structures and also they are very robust with high mechanical and thermal stabilities. So they are largely used for host gas properties such as gas absorption, anion exchange and chemical separations. So we have seen a brief note on metal organic frameworks how they are synthesized and certain examples and their applications. I will meet you again with metal organic frameworks with its guest absorption properties in the next set of slides. Thank you.